What's up YouTube, Jeff back again today on the very exciting Samsung video for you guys. And today we are gonna be talking about huge update that Samsung pushed out to one of their best new customization apps. And yes, One UI 6.0 official is rolling out very many places. Here in the US, it's kind of slow so far, especially for those of us who already have the beta. Uh, I haven't gotten it on my main unlock device, but it is rolling out in the UK and Germany, other places. I made a video on the top 10 features of One UI 6.0 yesterday. If you guys want to check it out, I'll drop it below. Before we get started, I want to thank my son, Jonathan, who got the T-Rex. We got the Velociraptor hanging out over here. He always gives us some dinos to hang out in the video. We do appreciate that. Also, if you guys are going to be ordering a Galaxy S24, S24 Plus, or S24 Ultra from Samsung's Unpacked launch in January, uh, we do have the Mystery Box program already available for you guys. Um, all you have to do is sign up. So you can tap here, my website, the link's in the pinned comment description. Put in your email address, first name, last name. Uh, you get a free case, a free cleaning kit, a free desktop phone stand. Also, other goodies this year for every 500 of the mystery boxes that people actually take part in. Again, there's no cost to you. We cover the shipping and everything. We're going to be also be rounding off a 75-inch Samsung QLED TV. The only thing you have to do at launch is use our affiliate link to place your order. That's how we kind of fund the program. It allows us to you know, pay for the shipping cost, all the stuff we put in the boxes, but no cost to you guys. We've been doing it for a while. People really enjoy it. This year is going to be bigger and better than ever. So check it out in the pinned comment and description. So let's go ahead and talk about the new update to Wonderland, um, which actually got a update last month that I talked about, but now it's been uh, revamped with even more new features after One UI 6.0 rolled out. Wonderland, of course, is in good luck. Let me go in here to the store really quick so I can show you guys the version number and the new feature list. Version 1.4.04, October 26th, 2023. I actually got it a couple days ago, I got on the 28th, I think. 83.92 megabytes, it is a pretty large update. What's new? Support transition effect from always on display. Some devices support One UI 6.0 or higher, so the S23 Ultra, S22 Ultra uh, is in there, as well as the Z Fold 4. Um, it says, after applying the lock screen transition effect, changing settings related to always on display and lock screen through regular settings, lock star, clock face, etc., may release the transition effect. So basically, if you want this transition effect from Wonderland, from your always on display to your lock screen, you're not gonna be able to add customization options um, through Lockstar and Clockface, which are other good lock modules. So just something to be aware of. We kind of figured this out when they originally pushed this update to Wonderland last month, but now Samsung has officially told us this. Uh, added three new effects, hexagon, slice, and flip. Uh, change chooser UI for image and effects. So there's a brand new UI, I'll show you guys that and adjust the default configuration value, which is basically the speed, size, and all that stuff. So let's go ahead and open it. Um, first of all, I'll show you guys the one I have. You kind of, I think you guys might have saw at the beginning of the video, I don't know. So here's my always on display. You see how it transitions from the lock screen into the always on display. It goes in this little hexagon here. And then if I put in my fingerprint, oh, I gotta go to the home screen, sorry. If I press the power button, it goes back, or if I put in my fingerprint, directly to the home screen. Very nice. Uh, it's not as quite as smooth as I would like it to be just yet, um, but it is a very cool effect. Uh, I definitely would like to see them improve the smoothness and efficiency, but it is really cool. So here's how you do it. Go to create your own different lock screen effect. This is the one I have right here. So I'll show you guys the one I created here, what it looks like, the new UI and everything. So you choose a wallpaper for your home screen, your lock screen, uh, I would recommend probably choosing the same one to make the effect look as cool as possible. Although there probably are some cool possibilities if you have different ones as well. Uh, you can kind of see what it looks like here as you play around with it. And then up here, you can also see in the top, there's this little question mark. It says try pinch and drag. You can change the size and position of image by gesture. So you can actually change. So when you go to the screen off, it's saying you can actually move where you want this to appear on the always on display by gesture. Um, you can still change the different effects. You see I've got hexes on. This is one of the new ones. You've got slice. You guys can see what that does. You saw what hexagon does. Uh, let me actually go in here and you can see it. Here's slice. Uh, and here's flip. Here's flip. Pretty cool one. Those are the new ones. The other ones were already there. So all the old ones are there as well. I kind of like hexagon. Um, this is the new UI for choosing your 
uh, wallpapers for the always on display in the lock screen. This will take you to your gallery. Oh, I don't know what that's about. Those are not mine. So someone must have connected those in the adjacent office. Um, this is for gallery. This is takes you right to the wallpaper section of themes for the Galaxy Store. And you can set it separately on each one. Separately. I don't know. I'm, what am I doing today? Anyway, you can set it separately on each one. And then down here is where you change the speed, tile size, and depth. Uh, these values, their uh, defaults have been adjusted. Now, I did turn the speed closer to slower, although they had it a little bit to the right of the center point by default. So they kind of changed that. They, I didn't change these defaults. So they changed some of the defaults there. Uh, and then this is the install button. So I've already done it and gave it a name. But once you set all of the things that you want, you name it and then hit, you know, install, and then it will install it. So, you know, finish editing the wallpaper. Okay, so we finished that. And uh, yeah, it looks really nice. Um, like I said, it would definitely be nice if they could potentially change some of the options a little bit smoother, get the smoothness going. Also, this doesn't always go to the same place. You can actually see here how in the beginning, like the hexagon went to different spots and how it moves up. I don't know if that's supposed to happen or not. It doesn't say that's supposed to occur. Uh, the other thing that's really cool is that you can also have touch change the depth of your wallpaper while you also have this as well by using uh, one for wall, uh, using um, <laughs> Wonderland. Sorry, I don't know. What's going on with me today? I can't remember the names of things. So very cool, definitely some improvements, but it's always nice to see Samsung adding some cool customization. Next, I'm hoping for a custom charging animation. We can only pray. That's one thing I've been wanting for a long time. I know a lot of you guys have as well. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification icon. Let me know if you guys have gotten One UI 6.0 yet on your phone. If you're going to be ordering S24 devices, check out the Mystery Box program to get a free case, cleaning kit, etc. Email, first name, last name. We'll email you closer to launch. You guys get the links. Use my affiliate link. Get the Mystery Box. We're super excited about it. Appreciate you guys checking out this one. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.